What's going on with all my money, money, ready stars? I'm gonna make a quick little video about haters. You know what I mean? So when it, what inspired me to do this video was something I saw on Shade Room. Like I saw Yo Gotti gifted uh, his artist Glorilla a, a new Maybach truck. And the reason why I'm making this video cause I saw something similar to that like last week or two weeks ago, probably it was the same week. The, uh, her friend, Glitter Gloss, the one that uh, rap with her sometimes, she signed the QC, and QC uh, P had ended up buying her car. But every time I see similar situation, because this is not the only time, I just really got to do it because it's just like a pile up, of, pile up of hate, you know what I mean? So what I'm seeing under the comments every time is, uh, he only giving you, he only spending your money, he only giving you back the money you made for him. You know what I mean? And my, my uh, answer to this, my solution to this, like, is just, duh. Duh. They, that's, just, that's it. Because when <laughs> when it comes down to it, man, people got to stop hating. That's why I know it's coming from hate, because people so full of hatred, they not even uh, level-minded about what they're actually saying. So I'm going to let you know what you're actually saying. And this is not, you know what I'm saying, even one of my supporters, even watch me, well, I know, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about if this video just get out, you know what I mean? So I have to get out, because I know a lot of hate gonna be in these comments. I can just feel somebody anger balling up, punching the air right now as I'm talking. But you know what I mean? We finna push all the so-called conspiracies aside, the Illuminati, all that. Okay. People gotta stop hating because when it comes down to that, that's what bosses are supposed to do for their employees. Because if you look at it, you're doing the same thing. You have sold your soul too. You go to a job every day. That's like me walking into you at your job after you get your paycheck and say, oh, they only giving you the money back that you work for these, all these hours for. Duh, like bruh. Gotti got her out the hood and took her from that situation to a different situation where she's living her life. At least she loves her job and she's enjoying what she's doing. She's, it's just like a fair exchange. It's like when you go to work, it's a fair exchange. And I really feel like that's a more unfair exchange than like what the uh, other people be doing because some of us, I used to work 12 hours shift, you know what I mean? So 12 hours for them little chicks I was getting, it was an exchange, but it wasn't a fair exchange. That's why people get mad because they're not receiving the amount that this person was receiving. So uh, that's where all that hate come from because you basically doing the same thing she doing. But if you work for minimum wage, that's what you're going to get, a minimum check. Unless you work all these over overtime. Like I said, at least she's happy doing what she's doing. She's just making music and touring. She's seeing the world. And people just can't stand. Like, it's not just her. Other people doing it, people can't stand it because not everybody has, you know what I'm saying, are doing the sick things in Hollywood. You really have to be an A-list celebrity to do all, uh, to be, you know what I'm saying, grouped in like a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, people got to realize, man, you doing something the same, that everybody had something to say about her, uh, signing a contract. Then you sign a contract when you start working. You signed on a dotted line too, you know what I mean? So we got to stop being so biased on when we want to throw salt on people, you know what I mean? Because I don't know what job you ever worked at where you didn't have to fill out like, uh, forms. So just go on live, you say, if you if you, if you trapped, then that's different, you know what I'm saying? But if you worked at a job, an official job, that's what happened. It's like you got a promotion or your job was giving a, a BMW away for the person who had the highest production. Now, if you go in there and work your ass off and get high production, what I look like being a hater coming up to you in your job and saying, you only got that BMW because you worked your ass off. Like, you would feel some type of way, wouldn't it? If it was your parent that was saying something, like, if, you know what I'm saying? If somebody was saying that to your parent, or if there was somebody saying that to your child, you will get mad. So let's just try to be more cognizant of what we saying to other people. And let's stop rubbing off on hate because a lot of people want to be in those positions. That's where the hate come from. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people, or this may sound crazy, it's a lot of people look down on strippers and they don't even see what strippers doing it like bad. They just mad at strippers because they living more free. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to be, a lot of women want to be a stripper, but since they don't have the confidence and they're shy to be around people, they don't feel comfortable doing it. So they look down on other people. They like, they, 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 they look down on people when shit they want to do, they can't do. You know what I mean? I got tongue tied so bad, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to start this video over. 
And then, like, when it comes to uh, even doing YouTube, I done had a lot of people in my inbox like, bro, how you do it, bro? I want to start a YouTube channel, but I'm just uh, scared to talk on the camera. I was like, bro, just do it, bro. You know what I mean? I just give people motivation. Just do it. It's a lot of people who want to rap. And then a lot of these people on the comments, they are failed rappers who want the same opportunity, but they just ain't got it. You know what I mean? So, bro, you got to stop the hate. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people want to do a lot of stuff. They just don't have the confidence to do it. A lot of people want to be actors. They just don't have the confidence to do it. You know what I mean? So they get mad at other people who actually pursuing their dreams. You know what I'm saying? They living vicariously through other people. That's why people be like, why are you watching these people if you don't really uh, like them? Because they probably don't like the people. They like what they're actually doing because it's the career that they want to have, but they're not confident enough to do it. You know what I mean? They don't have enough guts to get out there and do it. But why throw salt? You know what I'm saying? So that's all I wanted to break down, man. Y'all like the content. If y'all like the video, man, y'all share it, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be blessed on walking in smoke.